fall is in the air. I can smell it. It might be the candles. It might be the beers in front of me. Either way, the basic girl is jumping for joy inside of me because pumpkin beer season is finally here. Yeah, I'm a little excited. Can you tell? Either way, got some great beers that I finally picked up this weekend at the liquor store. So pumpkin beers are finally hitting shelves and I am pumped. Okay, so today we're gonna test out six different beers. I have them lined up right here for you. We're gonna start with the New Belgium Atomic Pumpkin. It's a spicy release. Next up, got Shipyards Pumpkin Head. Pretty sweet label on this one. It's like a headless horseman, but a pumpkin. Next, we have Odyssey Beer Works Fluffy Pumpkin Toasted Marshmallow Pumpkin Porter. There's a lot to that. We'll see what it tastes like. All right, now we've got the Southern Tier Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin L, which allegedly tastes like pumpkin pie in a glass. That's what it says right here on the label. Next up, Four Noses Pump Action Imperial Pumpkin Ale. And then finally, we've got Rogue's Pumpkin Patch Ale. It's a wheelbarrow filled with pumpkins. So cute. All right, so my boyfriend poured all of these separately for me. So I have no clue which one I'm tasting first, but we're about to dive in to see what we've got. All right, so I have all six beers in front of me now. They're in no specific order. I'm gonna go through these from my left to right, give you my impression, tell you which ones I think are best, which ones I don't like as much, and then I'll give you a ranking at the very end after I go through them one more time, just to kind of give myself a little break because I want to give a real true opinion of what these really taste like. So let's give it a shot. Here we go with the first one. And I will say before I take a drink of this first one, every single beer has such a different color. We'll see what that means. All right, so first up, definitely smell that cinnamon and pumpkin, little nutmeg. It smells like it's going to be a little bit lighter. We'll see. That has a good amount of pumpkin flavor to it. A little sweet, not too sweet, not like a fake pumpkin that you get sometimes from a pumpkin spice latte. This one has a solid amount of spice too. So far, I mean, obviously this is the first one I'm trying. This is pretty good. So I'm gonna put this up here. All right, next up. Again, this one is a light in color one. Doesn't have a strong pumpkin smell to it. I had to give this one two drinks just because I can't quite tell if it, it's not super strong on the pumpkin actually. It's got a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg again, a little bit of a vanilla flavor, but not a lot of pumpkin. It's kind of lacking in the pumpkin department. So we're gonna go back here with that one. The first one, a little bit better. All right, moving on to the third one. This one is a darker one. Smells very good. I actually get a hint of coffee in this one, as well as the pumpkin, cinnamon. Wow. That one just moved to my number one favorite because that has a great flavor. It's like just a little bit less sweet than the first one. Great pumpkin flavor, but it also has an extra added sweetness of, I would say this is a marshmallow. So very good. Oh, very good. Okay, so that moved up front. And next up, another one that's light in color. A little bit different smell actually than the other ones. A little bit sweeter on the nose with some nutmeg. That is all right. I don't love it. It kind of tastes like an artificial pumpkin. 
but it has a strong pumpkin flavor. So for what it's worth, it does actually taste like pumpkin. So I would say that moves it above this one that I put in second place. I mean, in second from last place, whatever. Let's move on to the next one though. We'll see where we're going here. So far, that one is my third favorite. This one's a little bit darker, not quite as dark as this one right here. Still a little darker. Does have the pumpkin on the nose. Actually, it smells like a can of pumpkin. If you open up a can of pumpkin, that's what it smells like. Good. It's very good. It's well-rounded. So you have the right amount of sweetness, but you also get that pumpkin flavor, that cinnamon flavor, that nutmeg, but it does kind of taste like pumpkin pie in a can, like a can of pumpkin pie. Tastes good. So far, that's gonna be in second place. Not quite the favorite. All right, the last one. See how this one tastes. Again, this one's light. A little bit darker, or a little bit lighter than the last one we just tried, but still a little bit darker than these three up here. Very sweet, very sweet smelling. This one tastes completely different than any of the beer on the table, like completely different. And I'll say that because it's extra sweet, but it's not artificially sweet. It has a lot of vanilla and caramel notes to it. Um, it's a little richer, full of flavor actually. This one is the real pumpkin pie beer. Like if you're looking for a beer that tastes just like pumpkin pie, this is it. This is pumpkin pie in a cup. All right, so that one is going to move to my first favorite actually. So I've got them ordered now from my least favorite to my most favorite. And so I'm gonna take a little break, drink a little water, and then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna taste them from right to left and tell you what I think. All right, I'm back. And I had some delicious honey wheat pretzels to melt the taste away. Now let's give it a try again. All right, we're gonna go from right to left, my right, of course. This was my favorite of the last round. We'll give this one a try again. Oh my gosh, even better. The second treat, like really good. The second taste of this, oh my gosh, this is literally pumpkin pie in a glass. That is by far my number one. Okay. This one is not as sweet. Still has a good amount of pumpkin flavor. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. Yep, still pretty good. And it doesn't taste like an artificial pumpkin. That's the one thing I don't love. All right, so that one's up there too. Third one. The smell on this one gets me. And not in a good way. It smells like the canned pumpkin kind of went bad. Mm. Not my favorite, actually. It's gonna be further back. I know I said before that I kind of liked it a little bit, but I actually don't. All right, next up, number four. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Yep, if you're looking for that darker beer, I mean, this is the one you're gonna wanna get. This is a little bit of pumpkin, marshmallow, vanilla, nutmeg, coffee, espresso, it's all in the cup. This is like a pumpkin spice latte, but not quite as sweet, and with a little bit of marshmallow fluff. All right, so these two are dead even right now. I've got to make a decision between those two. This was my least favorite on the first swipe through. And I will say I did discredit it a little bit the first time through because it is pretty good. It's got a decent pumpkin flavor to it. A little bit of heat. 
good. It's, it's better than what I said the first time around. So that one's actually going to move up. It's not my least favorite anymore. And we're going to go to the last one. Does smell like pumpkin pie in a glass. It does smell like that. It tastes, it tastes pretty good. I'll say that. It's got a, like a good amount of pumpkin in it. A little bit more pumpkin flavor than the last one I tried. Got a little cinnamon. A little more body than the last one actually. But not as much body as this one. All right, so we're gonna move that one up a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna reorganize these to my least and best favorite or worst favorite or the ones I like the most. And then I'm gonna let you know what I think. But actually, first of all, we gotta have a showdown right now between these two, because I have no clue which one I like better. So I'm gonna give them both one more try and then I'll let you know. All right, got a winner. Stay tuned to see which one it is. I've got my final order. Best to worst. And by worst, I don't mean the worst beer out there. I just mean the worst beer for me. So here we go. We're about to give it a try. At the beginning, at the beginning of the video, I told you that my boyfriend labeled these. He poured these. I have no clue which one is which. And I'm actually kind of excited to figure out which one is the best, which one is the worst. All right, let's give it a try. We're going to start with number six, okay? Number six, which is number six. Let's see what it is. Four, three, two, what the heck? Five, six. Number six. Looks like it is Shipyard's Pumpkinhead Ale. Sorry, it's Pumpkinhead. But again, I love the label. The label actually wins. This is my favorite label because it has the Headless Horseman Pumpkin holding a beer. You can't go wrong. It's so cute. All right, number five is number three. I don't remember which one. Number three is the Atomic Pumpkin from New Belgium. Again, this is a cool can. Skeleton, hat. This is the kind of hat I actually like to wear in the winter. I'm a weirdo, but I love these kind of hats. All right, so number five, Atomic Pumpkin from New Belgium. All right, number four is number four. And number four comes from Four Noses. It's the Pump Action Imperial Pumpkin Ale. All right, moving right along. Let's see what we've got. Cause I wanna know what is number one. All right, so this is number three and it is one. And that is the Rogue Pumpkin Patch Ale. I love it. I'm sorry. I just can't get enough of this wheelbarrow full of pumpkins and it's a smiling pumpkin. It's so cute. All right, the top two. And again, remember earlier I said that I had a really hard time between number two and number three. I went with the darker one. Let's find out what it is. All right, so two. Two is the Fluffy Pumpkin Toasted Marshmallow Pumpkin Porter from Odyssey Beer Works. And finally, number one, the drum roll. It really is pumpkin pie in a glass. This number one, I mean number five it says, but number five, is the Southern Tier Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin L. 
It really, really does taste like pumpkin pie in a glass. So good. Highly, highly suggest this beer. And I will say this. While I might have organized these in my best to least favorite, I would probably still actually buy all these minus this one. And I know a lot of people out there like Shipyard Pumpkin Head, but it just wasn't for me. It was not my favorite beer out of all six of these beers. So Shipyard might not be the beer for me. And while we have six right here, I think I'm actually going to sneak off and finish both of these beers because they were awesome. Anyway, be sure to subscribe and like The Average Drinker and be sure to stay tuned for more because there is plenty more coming. Not just pumpkin beers, not just beers, got liquors and bourbons and whiskeys and scotches and tequilas and wine, anything else you can think of. But The Average Drinker, my drink, I'm your girl. Thank you.